Tiny the Christmas Elf Tiny was a Christmas elf, and he was very, very tiny. As tiny as a grain of rice, so small that if someone sneezed, they might breed him in on the ha, 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 and whoosh him out on the choo. Tiny didn't like being tiny. He wanted to be as big and round as Santa Claus. Don't be silly, said his mama. Santa Claus is Santa Claus, and you are you. Not everyone is made to be big and round, just like not everyone is made to be tiny. But I feel like nobody notices me, said Tiny sadly. Everyone knows about Santa Claus, but who ever thinks about a tiny, tiny Christmas elf? People don't notice Santa Claus because he's big and round, said his mama. They notice him because he does nice things for people. He brings presents to little children who mightn't have the money for presents. He brings happiness to people who feel sad the rest of the year. It's a nice thing being Santa Claus, of course, but it's also nice being you. Tiny the Christmas elf thought about this. He would like to do nice things like Santa Claus. But how could he? He was tiny. If he tried to steer a Christmas sleigh, it would career off into the clouds because the wind was stronger than he was. If he tried to wrap a present, he would get himself stuck in the sticky tape. Maybe it was just a matter of mind over matter, he thought then. Perhaps he only needed to believe in himself. So he wrote an application to be one of the Christmas elves who helped make the children's toys. Perhaps he could paint the very fine numbers on the barcodes of the toys. But his writing was so tiny that nobody noticed it. So now it was Christmas Eve and Tiny the Christmas Elf was sitting on the roof of his tiny house having a little cry to himself. After a while, he stopped crying. Nobody cries forever. But then, he noticed the strangest thing. He wasn't crying anymore, but he could still hear a crying sound. <laughs> and then, Tiny the Christmas Elf realized that it wasn't him crying. It was someone else! Tiny looked around him. He climbed up from his tiny house and saw a windowsill. And in the windowsill was a face, leaning into a hand. It was a wet face. It was a little boy. A sad, sad little boy, crying on Christmas Eve. Tiny the Christmas elf climbed up to the windowsill and stood in front of the little boy's sad face. He was as tiny as an ant, so he held onto the window frame tightly in case the little boy breathed in too deeply and whooshed him up. Hello, he said in his tiny, tiny voice. What's wrong? Why are you crying on Christmas Eve? And incredibly, the little boy heard him. <laughs> Hello, funny little elf, sniffed the boy. I'm crying because it's Christmas Eve and I'm so excited about Santa Claus coming that I can't sleep. But my mom and dad told me that if I don't go to sleep, Santa won't come. And I'm trying and trying, but I just can't go to sleep. Santa will be here. How can I possibly go to sleep when Santa is here? That is a conundrum, said Tiny the Christmas Elf. It's true that Santa can't come if children are awake. And it's true that it's really hard to sleep when you're excited. About the presents and the food and my cousins are coming tomorrow. Yes, yes, said Tiny the Christmas Elf. 
I can see that. Tiny thought hard. Hmm. What if I sing a tiny little song in your ear to help you go to sleep? Do you think that might help solve the problem? The little boy thought about it, and it did seem like a good idea. He nodded and dried his eyes. Together, they went back to his bed. Tiny the Christmas elf waited until the boy had snuggled up in his blankets and then crept into his ear and began singing the calmest and sweetest songs to him. Before too long at all, the little boy was asleep. It seemed Tiny's little voice was perfectly suited for lullabies. When Santa's sleigh appeared at the window, Tiny the Christmas elf skittered over to the sash and told Santa what he'd done. Santa thought it was the nicest and most useful thing he'd ever heard a Christmas elf do. And so Tiny the Christmas elf now accompanies Santa every Christmas Eve as they visit all the houses. If any children are still awake when Santa arrives, Tiny slips in and sings a little song in their ear. And they are soon asleep and dreaming the most wonderful dreams. And everyone is happy, none happier than Tiny the Christmas Elf. Thank you for watching and see you at the next story!